The Pleiadians are mentioned in ancient Greek texts as the Pelasgians, the ancient ancestors of all Indo-European people. These people were known to illuminate and give the culture to Europe. About them is known little. From the ancient authors, we have learned that before the arrival of the Greeks, those territories were known as Pelasgia. The Pelasgians taught the Greeks the working of metals and the construction of walls. They were said to even extend to Italy. People who have deciphered Pelasgic and Etruscan inscriptions and compare them to the Albanian language of today, meaning that the Albanians are the descendants of the Pelasgians, one of the most ancient civilizations that lived in Europe. The Pelasgians were also called the Sea People. They first appear in the poems of Homer. Their creation myth talks about them kicking a serpent from their home. Some researchers have found that the Pelasgians had a great influence on the Aetolian language. Some Georgian scholars also connect the Pelasgians with the peoples of the prehistoric Caucasus. So you can see now how the Pelasgians spread from Italy all the way through Greece, through Anatolia, even to the Caucasus. So was the epic legends of classical Greece and Rome based on genuine historical figures and actual events? When a team from the Institute for the Science of Human History in Germany analysed the DNA of 93 Egyptian mummies dating from approximately 1400 BCE to 400 CE, the evidence for their study reveals a surprisingly close relation to the ancient people of the Near East such as the Armenians. The Armenian and Greek languages share a common ancestor then that means that the Armenians are also descendants of the Pelasgians. Ancient peoples believed that mankind evolved in Armenia, built high civilization but was destroyed by a great flood, after which the remnants spread to all directions. The Holy Bible places the Garden of Eden in Armenia and the genesis of human races around the Mount Arat. The Armenians also created alphabetic writing which was the foundation from which all ancient and modern alphabets evolved. The alphabet was invented by the historical Hyksos people during their domination of the Near East between the 18th and 16th centuries before Christ. The Hyksos burst out of Armenia and conquered all the land south until they reached Egypt. The Hyksos founded Jerusalem the African genetic influx seems to have only started after Islam. The Armenian and Georgian mountains of the Caucasus were the birthland of the white race. According to Josephus, the biblical Hebrews were in reality the Hyksos. The English alphabet is the most similar in shape to the ancient Hebrew alphabet out of all alphabets today including Jewish square script Hebrew. The Hyksos was eventually surrounded in Jerusalem and forced out of Egypt. Around the same time as the Hyksos rule started to decline in Egypt, the Pharaoh eruption happened in the Aegean. The Hyksos left behind their sick. Maybe this is where the biblical Hebrews came from. The story of the Battle of the Anunnaki and Pleiadians is told in the story of Atlantis. In this story, the Atlanteans were the Anunnaki who was expelled from Europe by the Athenians, which are the Pleiadians. The Atlanteans are forced to flee to Egypt, but shortly after, the Pharaoh eruption destroyed the homeland of the Athenians. People wrote of a so-called nuclear winter resulting from the Pharaoh eruption. Noah's flood also occurred at the same time as the Pharaoh eruption. According to the Bible, Noah was the ancestor of all the European peoples. Once the Anunnaki had took back over Jerusalem, they expelled most of the Hebiru. Once they expelled left Jerusalem, 
Moses then converted them to Judaism. They were still Hebrews when they were in Jerusalem and worshipped a golden calf which represented the Pleiades homeland, the Taurus constellation. 